Hey, Brewski, I'm in my zone like a two three. Whoa. Sue me, Urban Gorilla, no Gucci. Yeah, the strippers I be kicking like Bruce Lee. Check my precepts, raw and sushi. Summertime, so I stay in the cool B yeah. on the corner throwing bums like I'm Drew Brees. Yeah, tap out for your how we we'll bringing them gas out. Cut a heathen, cause he running his fat mouth off the dribble. I be balling like. What's going on? Come, come to the front, man. Let me talk to you. What's going on, man? I, I just want to ask you. Uh, I love all you. You love all us? How do you How do you love me? How do I love you? How do you love me? Uh, the best of my ability. How? Right? Just because you said it, I'm supposed to I believe you. Here right now. That's a form of love. I don't agree. All right. That's just a word to me. It is telling me something. Right. I, you can be lying to me right now. Thank you for not agreeing. Okay. I love you. What's your nationality? My yeah. What's your nationality? What's your ethnicity? What, where you come from? Why? Where your parents come from? Why? You're European. I'm from the tribe of Judah. Alright? No. What, what's, where are your parents from? Where are your parents from? My grandparents. My grandparents are from Italy. Your grandfather? In Ireland. What about your grandfather? My mother is from America. My father is from Britain. Britain. European. Yes. How are you from the tribe of Judah? I'm a king. How are you from the tribe of Judah? The last one. How are you from the tribe of Judah? Who comes from the tribe of Judah? You tell me. No, I'm asking you. You tell me. King. All king. Every, everybody from the tribe of Judah was not a king. King ever. Every, no. Nope. from the tribe of Judah. Uh, I mean, Levites, what, what, Levites are preachers. Listen, listen, listen. Am I right or Everybody from the tribe of Judah is not a king. Only the Davidic line. Only, only David's sons are kings, okay. not all Judites. But where can a king come from? What tribe? There's only one. That's a lie. Because Saul was a king, right or wrong. Right. Was so Saul a king? Was Saul a king? Who was his son? Was Saul a king? Yes, sir. What tribe was he from? Judah. Wrong. Give me that. Show me different. <laughs> I will. Don't worry about it. You don't know the Bible. You, not, give me that. Argue with you, brother. Give me that in no, First Samuel. I'm just tell you, read Romans 12. We're, we're going to get there. You're changing the subject right now. He said all kings from, come from the tribe of Judah, which I is a lie. You, Saul is not from the tribe of Judah. You don't know the Bible, man. Where was Samuel from? Samuel? Samuel was a Levi. Where was he from? Levi. The tribe of Levi. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So is Saul... Is Saul what was his job? He was a priest. What was his job? A priest. To appoint the first one, king. Did he appoint Saul? Did he appoint Saul? Sir, sir. You're changing the subject. Where are you at? Give me this. This is 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse 21. And Saul answered and said, Am not I a Benjamite? A what? A Benjamite. What's a Benjamite? Is that from the tribe of Judah? No. no, no okay, sir. then. So you lied. What was his job? I'm a liar. I'm a liar. So the first king was, was, was Saul. That was, Saul was a king before David, right? All you do is say yes or no. Was, was Saul a king before David? <laughs> yes or no? Was Saul a king before David? Was Saul a king before David? Why are you running from my question? Can you be respectful? Was Saul a king before David? Was he a king before David? Was Saul David's father? No. What? Hell no. What are you talking about? I'm leaving. I don't know what I'm talking about. Jesse was his father. What are you talking about? I love yeah, you no, you don't. You're a liar. Get up the block, man. Uh, yeah. Damn devil. You can say it was Saul David's father. What are you? I thought all kings from the, from the tribe of Judah. That's madness. You don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. You tell me one king that didn't come from the tribe of Judah. I just read it. I just read it. To you. Saul. 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 He's from, from the, the tribe, tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin. The tribe of Benjamin. That's why, that's why he didn't answer the question. Because Saul was the first king, right or wrong. Was Saul a king before David? Me. You're, you're a devil. <laughs> Nobody appointed you. What are you talking about? <laughs> God's going to appoint you to, to slavery. That's what's going to happen. Right. What are you talking about? <laughs> this devil talking about who appointed me. What are you? Who are you? What did he appoint you to do? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? What, what did God appoint you to do? Because I don't know you. I can tell you what God appointed me to do. Come out here and preach the, the, the gospel to the 12 tribes of Israel. Right? Bid our people to the marriage. That's what, that's what Christ told me to do, too. What did God tell you to do? What did he appoint you to do? Because all you're doing up here is lying on the Bible. That's all I hear you say. Madness, man. And a genuine person wouldn't run from my question. All you do is say yes or no. 
And then you just kept usurping your, your cracker authority over me, which I don't respect. <laughs> Anyways, you didn't want to answer the question because you knew you were confounded. Madness, man. And, like, and first and foremost, there was Northern Kingdom kings too. Right. King Jeroboam from Ephraim. <laughs> this guy's sick. This guy's sick, man. I don't know what he's talking about. You had something to say? Are you going to be here to listen? You here to listen? Okay, great. Where you at? Give me um, First Kings six. Romans twelve. What's what's in Romans twelve? What's in Romans twelve? I know what what is it? What's in it though? What do you want me to read? Read the whole thing. We can get there in a second. Listen, man, this dude. I love you. What does that mean? Like, stop. Stop with the lies, man. Stop with the lies. We're not we're not up here. Oh, he said he loves me. Stop it, bro. That's 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 madness, bro. Them words don't mean a goddamn thing, especially since you lie on the Bible. You don't love God because you're lying on his word. Yeah, man, get up the block, man. No, you can drop it. Oh, he keeps coming back. Not a problem. Where you at? Let me find this. Cause this guy, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. We can get Romans 12. Get Romans 12 for him. Let's see what that says. See what, we'll see what Paul's talking about. Give me 1 Kings 15 and 17. Or 15 and 9. 15 and 9 first. And then give me uh, 15 and 16. Don't worry about it, man. Patience is a virtue. If you love me, you'd be patient. You, you, this proves further your lie. You can't be patient. Go ahead. 15 and 9 and jump to 16. This is 1 Kings chapter 15 and verse 9. Uh -huh. And in the 20th year of Jeroboam, king of Israel. King of what? King of Israel. Is Jeroboam from the seed of David or the seed of Judah? Of course he's not. He's from Ephraim. I told you that earlier. So he doesn't come from Judah. Read 316. I just told you that there was a northern kingdom king and a southern kingdom king. The kings of the southern kingdom are all will be Judites, but the king of Israel would not be Judites. Read. And there was war between Asa and Baasha, uh -huh. king of Israel, all their days. Uh huh. You had 16? That was 16. Go to 17. Go ahead. Verse 17. And Baasha, king of Israel, went up against Judah. When what? Went up against Judah. So the king of Israel went up against Judah. So that means he's not the king of Judah. Okay. So he's not a Judah, right? But he's the king of Israel. He's from a northern kingdom. He went against his own people. Yes, he's not a Judah. Though. That's the point. But give me Romans 12. That's all I wanted, that's all I wanted to get at. The kingdom split, and we were we were two kingdoms had two different kings at the same time. Where you at? Go ahead. And Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, an Ephraimite of Zarita, Solomon's servant, whose mother's name was Zeruah, a widow, and he lifted up his hand against the king. Give me Romans twelve. Where the flyers at? What was he looking for? What verse? Oh, okay. Give me that. Uh, what verse? Start at the top. Oh, okay. This is the book of Romans, chapter 12. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, uh -huh. holy, acceptable unto God, Three. which is your reasonable service. Uh -huh. And... Be not conformed to this world, but be a transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good uh -huh. and acceptable and perfect will of God. We agree. What's your point? Keep you reading? What's the will of God? No, what's the will of God? No, it's not going to say it here. It's not going to tell you here. What's the will of God? Love? Can you show me a verse that says that? Can you show me a verse that says that? What's your name? What's your name? Jeremy. Jeremy. Can you show me a Bible verse that says that? Can you answer my question? Show me a verse that says what you just said. 
Show me a verse that says that. Romans 12, please. Romans 12, it says that in this verse? Yes. yes. Give me that in 1 John. Let's prove it. Let's 1 prove John, is, John is all love. Great. One, two, three. Listen, we're, we're going to read the Bible. Finish reading Romans Listen, 12. shut your mouth. We don't run nothing up here, devil. Read. 1 John 5 and 3. For this is the love of God. But this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. That what? We keep his commandments. That's what the love of God is. Do you, do you keep the commandments? Does his commandment not say, love thy neighbor as thyself? Who's my neighbor? Everybody on earth? Is everybody on earth my neighbor? Is everybody on earth my neighbor? Get him, get him. Get him. Is everybody on earth my neighbor? Germ. Is everybody on earth my neighbor? Who's my neighbor? Who's my neighbor, Jeremy? Why can't you answer my question? Who's my neighbor? Love my neighbor as myself. Who's my neighbor? This is crazy. I'm supposed to just read like I'm a preacher and serve I can't ask questions? This is crazy, man. The devil don't know a goddamn thing about the Bible because it's not for him. That's the problem. Right. He's confused. He's been lied to just like the men the devils from Australia have been lied to. And they're all the same people. They're all going to slavery. Hey, come up here, man. Come up here. Go ahead. By this, we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and keep his commandments. When we love him and keep his commandments, right? For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God. Read on. That we keep his commandments. Uh -huh. And his commandments are not grievous. That's how you love God. Keep his commandments. The commandments aren't grievous. What's going on with you guys, man? What drove you over here? Uh, we're just curious. Just curious? Yeah. You, you guys believe in the Bible? Uh, my family is Jewish. Your family's uh, Jewish? Yeah. From where? Um, they're from the, the, the Grecian Jews. They came from the Polish Dettel. Polish Dettel? Polish, the Stettels in Poland. Shtetl. Okay. Yeah, so I, I I guess I don't really know much about the... But you believe in the Bible, though, right? No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty... I don't really know... You're agnostic? Yeah, I don't... I don't Are you I Jewish, though? I feel like I have, like, some culture of, you know... Of, like, the being Jewish, but I, I don't really you don't believe. practice Judaism? Not anymore. Do your parents? A little bit. It's fading away. It's fading away? But isn't that your culture? Supposedly? So. It's, it's hard to, to continue doing it for me. Why is that? Because I feel like I don't, um, I don't fully, I just don't like feel like I know, you know? What do you mean? I, I don't feel like I, I know. You can't I'm prove believe. yourself to be a Jew? Well, not that I, I, I feel like, you know, being a Jew is something that can, you can assign yourself or other people can assign to you. I can, like, I, a lot I, of, I, can, I can agree to that. So there's a lot Who assign people. themselves to be Jews? Um, well, all sorts of people. I mean, also, God, what your parents... Hey, God loves, brother, you got Prove that sign all wrong. I know, I know. It sounds, it sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds good. I got a question for you guys. It, it all sounds good. It all sounds good. Why do, when a white man's killing your people, he loves is just the same, right? He loves them same people that kill your people. Get out of here. I got a question. That's all right. Hold on, hold on. I want, I want to address what you said. Sure. Give me that. You don't believe in, you don't believe in the Bible, though, right? Well, I, I mean, I, I believe it exists, and I believe that there could be. There's a lot of power in the Bible. There's a lot of, there's a lot of power in the Bible. What's that? There's a lot in the Bible, and there's a lot of power. In the Bible. But, 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 but here's what I'm saying, though. Your parents are Jewish. I'm assuming your grandparents are Jewish, so on and so forth. And I'm, I'm not sure who you congregate with as far as your friends and family. Is he Jewish? Uh, no. Okay, not a problem. But the Jewish culture stems from this book, right? From the first half, yeah. The first half, not the second half. Not, no. So, you don't, so your people don't believe in the New Testament? Well, I mean, I don't know, but that's why, like, I don't know if I'm, like, I don't know, you know. Is that a reason why you don't believe in it? Or is it just, it's just your lifestyle? Is that it? I mean, what? what? So I guess for me, when I, when I think of the Bible, I think of, like, a story that I can, like, learn from and get something out of and, like, read into the story, but I don't know, you know, what's what's totally true about it, because okay. I have people in my life that are Christian, and they really yeah. believe that, and I have people in my yeah. life that are Jewish, and uh -huh. it's like, I don't know if Interesting. I, I feel like it's not up to me to... It's not up to, to you? To but, but you have a claim, but you're, not necessarily you, because you don't necessarily follow that line of uh, uh, lifestyle as far as Jewish or Judaism, right? For me, your, I, yeah. Your, okay. your, your parents are falling away too, or are they kind of like more cultural and, you know, do I certain guess, things that way? You know, it's, it's, I feel like I was raised to be like loving and accepting of all people. And but I, I we're, like we're not talking about that. We're talking about your culture. But it wasn't like. A, I, I, I would, I would actually like dare to say you're, you're culturally appropriating the real Jews. 
okay. you and your ancestors okay. and those people in Israel. Right. Because they call themselves what? Israeli, right? And Jewish. Yeah. You know what I mean? What does that mean? Uh, what does Jewish mean? That's not sure. It means they wish they were Jews. They're not real Jews. Those aren't the real Jews over there. I'm going to no, tell you that straight, straight forward. Because you said something about half the book. And most Jewish people don't believe in the New Testament because it speaks blatantly against them, verbatim. Even the Old Testament, not a problem. But I just want to address something real quick. You guys something to say? Yeah, I mean, you, then we'll get to your question. You say that you're not per, let's say, religious or whatever, right? Right. But you have, did, did you have a bar mitzvah going no, on? No, no, I'm like really not versed in, you know, I've read a little bit in a class. Oh, okay. But so your your, your, your parents didn't give you, uh, you didn't have a bar mitzvah or nothing, right? I'm really disconnected. Okay, so basically your parents are I too. I don't hate nobody for you to say that. I mean, you, you can try to prove that. You can try. You can try to prove. You, you can try to prove that wrong. Can I ask a question? What? I, I'm wondering when you say God hates white people, like what? What does that mean for us, and what does that mean for? The people well, first and foremost, we're not saying he hates you just because you're, you're white. We, we're saying that he hates what we know today as white people right. because of who they descend from in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? I see. What you're saying. Yeah, and what they've done in the earth. So there's a history, there's a historical track record that white people have in here. You're familiar with that, right? You're from America, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Where are you from? I'm from here. Oakland. Yeah. Where, you, where you, you say your pa are your parents from Poland or your or your grandparents? Uh, ancestors. My ancestors are from. Poland. What about you? Grandpa. Uh, I'm not, I'm not Jewish at all. I know, but what, where are your parents from? My parents are from here, but uh, I mean, you, what, I mean, what, you mean what country? Yeah, Europe. Europe. What European country? Germany, mostly. Germany. Okay, yeah. so you guys will be ancient ops. <laughs> Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your people supposedly killed their people. That's kind of crazy. Right. And it's a yeah. perfect union today. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But you had a question, though. What was yeah, the question before we get to this? Wait, so Sakari? Sakari. 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 Uh huh. So are you guys Hebrew Israelites? Of course. Okay. So just because I've, I've read some stuff, but I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you guys the Tzach. ones who believe? In like, Yakub is like that stuff, right? Jacob, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jacob. Mm -hmm. And what was his deal? Well, I he, only know he's name. a forefather of Israel. His Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Okay. And so okay. every descendant from Jacob would be an Israelite, a descendant of Jacob. Which is you guys. Of course. Through prophecy and history. Not sure. just because we say it, we can go in the Bible and prove it right. along with the history that pairs with the Bible. So yes, we will be the real Israelites and Jews. That's right. Not him or his ancestors. Right. All those people like Benjamin and Yahu, all those people over there in Israel. They're those not. are not. Of course not. How right. are they? No, I, I agree. I'm just... I'm not. Okay. So, Yaakov is Jacob. Jacob, yes. That's another way for saying Yaakov. It's, yeah. it's just a, a, a modern Hebrew, whatever. All right. Okay. So, you've heard of Israelites before? Yeah. Is it the Bible or just this thing? Well, I mean, both. So, so, you've heard of the people on the street corner that teach the Bible in yeah, this fashion? Yeah, Yeah, of course. Like, yeah, Netanyahu and like all the like people in Israel, they call themselves just Jewish, Jewish. Israeli. Israeli. Yeah. yeah. You know what Israeli means? No. An inhabitant of Israel. They li yeah, but they're not Israelites. Of course not, because they don't. They sent from Esau, which is Jacob's twin brother, an evil twin brother, by the way. Ah. So right. you guys are both being Edomites in the Bible. He, he drank the red, red stuff, right? I remember Lentils. That. It's basically lentils. It doesn't say it doesn't say meat, but some people try to say that. Oh, but in all actuality, that red pottage it was it was just lentils, pretty Which much. Which translation do you guys read? We read the King James. We can read any translation for you. I really like the Robert Alter version. What's that? He, he's really good. He's like a Hebrew translator, and he was really good at translating the Hebrew itself. Does he have his own Bible, or is it just like a personal a, translation? Ro Robert Alter is a. He studies Hebrew. He's, is he a rabbi? Um, I don't think. I don't think so. I think he's. he's uh, well, how do you spell his name? Uh, last name A L T E R. And he said Robert he's Alter. Robert Alter, and he's he's from Berkeley. He teaches in Berkeley. And okay. I, I don't know if he's a rabbi, but I know that his translation was um, really versed in Hebrew, and I thought, to me, it gave okay. some insights into the original text. The original but text? But I don't, you know, like, I thought it was, I think, yeah, which translation? Have you read the Bible before? Parts of it. Only, okay. Only How old are you? I'm 20. Oh, you're kind of young. Okay, not a problem. Where are you at? Give me, um, give me Luke first, 21. Let's read the New Testament. I'm not sure, like I said, if you'll take heed to it, but sure let's see right. what, let's see. you believe in the Messiah? I, I, I really have no beliefs. I, I, okay, so you have no, 
dog in the fight. I, yeah, I like that. That's spiritual too. That's how it's going to end up. I got another question. That's right. Go ahead. What yeah, we, what's going so, on? So what do you, what do you all believe? Like who did you? Who do you believe has like the right to like uh, Palestine? Israel? The Royal Israelites. Right. The people that were scattered across the four corners of the earth. The Black, Hispanic, Native Americans. We're just talking about, uh, well, you see that sign right there, right? Uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Nessa, Gad, Reuben, Natali, Asher, Issachar. Right. We're just talking about this side of the earth right now. Because sure. that's, by prophecy, those are the way the Israelites are going to be scattered to until the end times. Do you believe in the Bible? No. Well, you're familiar with Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they, yeah, so the idea is, like, at some point they'll return. Exactly. Right. But when did those Jewish people return? Jewish or Jewish, like Israelis. Israelis, when they come back? Well, when they created 1948, Israel. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, well, that's not a prophecy in the Bible. That was kind of like the smoke screen behind World War One and World War Two. Right, exactly. And they already had the Belfort Declaration. That's right. Thirty years before that, you're familiar with that, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mandatory so, Palestine. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So they, what's the history of that? They said they was buying up land before yeah. they even got there. That's right. Like right after World War. Uh, that's important. After World War One, when the Ottoman Empire fell, right? right. Because the Ottoman, uh, the Ottoman Empire, the, they had the whole Levant, parts of Africa, yep. right? So, after the, the Ottoman Empire fell, there were still, uh, the, uh, you, you will say that Jewish people from around the world, before the, uh, the Zionist movement, they were buying up land plots, mm -hmm. right? Because the, Ottom the Ottomans didn't own the land no more. Sure. From Arab, uh, from Arab, because they had Arab people working the land and stuff. So they were just buying up a lot of plots. Yeah. And this started right after the the, the, the fall of Adam, uh, the Ottoman Empire, World War I. Sure. And then they drafted up the the, the Belfort Bel Declaration yeah. in, what, 1913? Mm -hmm. And all the way up to 1948. Yep. Right? So it was all planned ever since World War I. Totally. So then my question is, like, the African American Haitians, all those people are, like, supposed to come back again, right? What about, like, um, the Palestinians? Are they... They like, would be... Those aren't the real Palestinians either, but there's a reason why they're fighting them because, first and foremost, they want that land to, you know, because that's the land promised to Abraham from the Nile to the Euphrates. So, in all actuality, I don't necessarily have a problem with them being there now because, I mean, they're being oppressed by the Israelis right now. They're being right. bombed every day. They're yeah, they're, they're Arabs, so they're not, they're not the real Palestinians. The real Palestinians... Uh, the real Palestinians will be... African people. Right. There will be descendants of Egyptians, technically. Mm. Philistines. That's where Palestine comes from. The word Philistine in the Bible. Yeah. So it will be African people, by definition, in, in biblical in biblical sense. So those Arabs aren't the real Palestinians. So I mean, right. and give me the, where's oh we don't have the old flyer, huh? Arab means noble. That's what it is. The whole thing is, the whole thing is that with the uh, with the Palestinians, they took on that name right because. Hadrian, uh, the Roman Empire Hadrian, after the final expulsion of the Jews in 130 AD or something, right? He he expelled the he, he, after the final expulsion after the Bar Kokhba revolt. He renamed Jerusalem after the Israelites' main enemy and ancient enemy, which are the Philistines. So that's where you get the word Palestina. In Latin from. So the Arabs that lived there took on that name as Palestine, mm -hmm. Palestinians. Because of the Romans. Because of the Romans named it Philistine or, or, or Palestine. Named the land, especially Jerusalem, yeah. just as like the Jews. They named it Palestine or Philistine. And right. the Roman and the Roman and the Catholic the, uh, the Roman Catholic Church still recognizes this place as Palestine. That's right, a little history for you. But I'm, I'm gonna show you something real quick. So there's a, there was a, a president of Egypt in 19, was it 1948, 1949, you got that? Nasser. What's that? President Nasser, Nasser yeah. Nasser, yeah. Read this, so you, you know a little bit, how old are you? You've been studying the Israelites, huh? 20, yeah. You've been studying the Israelites? I know a little. Yeah, he, 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 he's a little sneaky devil, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the second president of Egypt, Gamal Nasser. Oh, yeah. You will never be able to live here. He's talking to the Israelis, right? You'll never be able to live here in peace. You'll never be able to live in Jerusalem in peace. Why? Because you left here black. You left what? You're black. You left here black, right? And came back white. Mm. We'll never. We'll, uh, yeah, this is. This it says we'll never accept you. We'll never accept you because you're not the real Jew. 
And that's where they're warning against those people over there right now. Because the real Jews are melanated Negro people. Like the they can look like anybody, honestly, but huh? no, the Egyptians aren't, aren't, aren't Jews. They will be Hamites. Because Jews come from Shem. The Egyptians come from Ham. So they, I mean, they might have the same complexion, but they're not the same people. Okay. Just like all white people, quote unquote, aren't necessarily white, but we all descend from one ancestor. Sure. But Which in all is, um, Esau. Esau. Like right. we said, you familiar with Esau, right? right? You believe you're an Edomite? Sorry? You believe you're an Edomite? Edomite is descendants of Esau? Okay. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I guess so. Are you familiar with their, their, their judgment? Their judgment? Yeah, their judgment from what's, God. What's going to happen to them? Yeah. yeah. That whole thing? I mean, that's just a, that's just a sign. That's we're, talking a sign. About, we're talking about the Bible, though. Um, What's the biblical no. ending for the Edomites? I don't know. I don't know. Give, me, give me Persephone, give me Malachi, and then you give me Obadiah. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you're here to, to get some answers, Malachi. man. you never been to Israel, because you, you don't... you never been to Israel, right? Your parents been to Israel? My mom went to Israel. Okay. I'm not a pro... I, you're not pro-Zionist? Well, I don't really know. I, I'm not pro the current Israel government. Okay. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of mixed feelings about that 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 that, that state. Even though it's a country, they call it a state. That's, that's a problem in itself. But anyways, give me this verse. It's the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet, yea, say, wherein hast thou loved us? It's talking about the Israelites. Where is the Israelites? Where has God loved the Israelites? Because those, of course, it is uh, Old Testament, first and foremost. Even till now, Israelites got put under curses for disobeying the covenant, right? You familiar with that? Go ahead. Wherein hast thou loved us? Uh -huh. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Uh -huh. Saith the Lord. Yet I loved Jacob. God loved Jacob. What else? And I hated Esau. So when you read that sign, it says God hates white people. That's right. You can replace white with Esau. Oh, yeah. That's why we say it. We can prove the white man is Edom. If you have time, I'm going to get the information for you. You read. And laid his mountains as his heritage waste and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness when did this happen when you guys left petra you familiar with petra nope how y'all you know this is the statues of petra what they look like it looks kind of like washington dc right yeah so that's the white people's home originally yes that's where you get the architecture in rome from Washington, D.C. It looks exactly the same because that's your culture. You guys are Edomites. You got a question, sister? Oh, really? Hey, brother, you have a question? Come over and ask questions, brother. If you disagree with us. But anyways. We got to head out. I just got a question. Do you guys have, like, any reading material? I mean, not for you. You can look up the Sakari, though. Not for us. Not at all. all right. Look up the, look up the Sakari on YouTube. You'll all find all the information you need, sure. my guy. Remember, you're going into slavery just like your ancestors. Right. right. All praise to the Most High. Right. You know. That's what we do out here, man. Preach truth to power. Tell these Edomites their judgment. Tell our people to repent, man. Our people's bugged the hell out, but only people that came up here today is mostly Esau. That's kind of crazy. Right. We're in a black city, a black town, in a quote unquote Juneteenth weekend. Right. Not many people come up here and want to learn the word, man. It's crazy. The sister Panthers. that came, huh? What's that? Home of the Black Panthers. Hey, man, they ain't lost that juice. <laughs> and, and, and quite as kept, the Black Panthers had trainees in their midst as well. It's madness. But um, I wish that, I, I wish Jeremy would have stayed. I was trying to cut him. He was really, like he was going to cry. But anyways. Um, <laughs> he was like sipping on some. Oh, he was sipping? That wasn't water? Uh, hey, man, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that Y'all didn't smell it? Oh man! He had moonshine for sure. Really? Yeah, he had, he had an open top. Like, bro, yeah, what are you doing? He come from the house, just walking down with an open yeah, open man. jar of moonshine. Like, goddamn! Don't drink water like that. Yeah, I, I, I was wondering. Like, I seen it. I'm like, that don't look right. But anyways, the devil ain't right in general. But anyways, let me. Uh, I'm gonna close out. Give all praise, honor, and glory. Shalom.